hello and welcome back in this new video tutorial i'm going to show you how you can set up a t-mobile configuration how you can start t-mobile internet connection in your home or office for this you just have to follow my steps just you get a package like this package i get and you have to open inside you can get a manual and one cable ethernet cable and uh, you will get uh, this box inside have modem so this one is uh, vexel t50 so this modem you get uh, and uh, one uh, power adapter and these are filters uh, that uh, you can uh, use uh, for different uh, specifications uh, this one also one filter if your home no have a telephone line or have a telephone line but only a line no have a connection like this so you have to do yourself just you have to open this screw and then you have to follow the manual here as they written first step second step third step so you have to follow like this one you see right here so you have to connect this with the wires telephone lines they have different colors lines so what you have to do you just have to follow this steps one two three okay so here if you go like here is a special is easy not difficult you just have to follow this yellow cable you have to plug there and black cable there red there green there that's it okay here is also visible you can check so here is my connection for this telephone line but was broken inside and i adjust myself with this guide and now is working perfect if you already have a connection like this in your home telephone line so just you have to pick this one and you have to take one cable as they mention in the manual also this cable you need one connector you have to put here and the other connection you have to put back to the router okay let's see the router here is router as you can see here have many options back side so if you are using also phone landline phone so you have to plug in here these green cables and if you want to use ethernet cable this cable so you have to put here one of these options uh, van services uh, here and dsl cable means uh, that uh, cable hose i show you already one connector uh, here and the other connector is uh, this one other connector here in dsl okay so you just have to put here a uh, power connector and you have to press on and you have to press uh, dsl cable here and the other side of dsl cable with this switch in your telephone line like this one then you have to press here and that's it so one connector here and the other connector is here and then you just have to press on and then you have to connect this ethernet cable one connector here anywhere you can connect and the other connector you have to connect with your laptop for set the further configuration okay i'm going to connect and uh, i'm going to show you what you have to do next okay as you can see i just uh, power on and lights are blinking so you have to wait a little bit i already configured this modem but uh, just uh, to tell you i am going to reconfigure again so you have to wait a little bit uh, when light this one stable then the other lights will be on slowly slowly and uh, then you have to do further procedure okay one light is stable and the other lights going to on now you have to wait also for stable this light uh, second light and then you have to go further okay as you can see it's stable already and internet light uh, going to on because i already configured this uh, modem so it should be on also is now red showing and it will show green after a moment and means that 
modem is already configured and internet is working but when you get your package it will not work like this so you have to configure first you can see is all lights are stable and just this blinking because I'm using internet so that's why okay so guys what you have to do just you have to plug in this ethernet cable one side you already plug in back to the modem and the other I am going to connect with my laptop and then I am going to show you what you have to do further one thing I forget to tell you that uh, when you get your package first time you have to uh, remember this uh, username here is a login password and IP address is here so this two will help you and uh, username admin and this one password and here is the IP address this will help you to adjust everything uh, configuration in the system okay so this one here is SSID means the connection name so this one you can change whatever you want and here is down password you can change whatever you want I'm going to tell you how you can do that here is reset button so you can uh, reset uh, with uh, any pin press and hold for a few seconds minimum 20 seconds and then all lights will be blink together so it means that modem is reset if you don't want to reset is not a problem okay so let's go to the laptop screen all right guys what you have to do you know the IP address is just you have to open any browser write the IP address 192.168.1.1 okay here is the IP address so then you have to click enter and you have to write the data username and password who I mentioned you before okay so if you sh uh, see this one you have to just click here advance and then you have to go to the main page okay so here you have to write a username admin and password who's mentioned backside to the router okay as you can see first page showing here here uh, will show you all your system information here username password everything what you have to do just uh, you have to go to the here network setting and here will uh, maybe your modem is different uh, number uh, maybe here show broadband setting then you have to click on broadband and then you have to uh, set their uh, configuration and then you have to click next but uh, mostly they show here wireless and home networking these things so what just have to go wireless and then you have to see here down if you see the wireless name so here you can change the name whatever you want and then you have to go here down password so generate normally is select here generate password automatically so this will generate automatically password for you that who's written in backside to the router okay but if you want to change yourself then you have to remove this option uncheck and then you have to write here a password what you want and then you have to click here apply and then your internet will start automatically okay so here you can leave as it is so and uh, channel uh, setting also all setting other setting you have to leave like this okay then you have to go back network setting again so here you can see home networking so here is showing your IP address was you use you can change your IP address also whatever you want and uh, and then you have to click save here these things are extra I'm telling you you don't need if you want to use only internet uh, simply just you have to do the setting who I told you before and you have to just uh, apply button and save okay here you can change theme also here you can change your language English or Dutch when you will uh, log in first time uh, here they will ask you the you can change the login password yourself also that one you can do also 
but if you forget that password just you have to reset from the back side to the router you have to press reset button and uh, press and hold uh, a minimum 20 25 seconds okay then uh, it will ask you the normal uh, default password uh, who's uh, written in the back side to the router channel if you want uh, auto you can set auto channel depends on the usage you can install Wi-Fi analyzer program and then you can check which channel people are using too much so that one is busy then you have to set the other free channels like I set 7 so you can check in your area which channel are much busy so you don't have to select that one then your speed will come more to you so guys I hope you will understand everything if you have any question you can ask me always in comments and uh, please uh, subscribe our channel and uh, share with others. See you next time. Bye-bye.